Hi everyone, I'm David Zakarian from Texas Instruments in Silicon Valley. Many of the products and systems that you design today rely on some sort of physical sensing, whether it's to improve the user experience, extend performance and reliability, or ensure safe operation. And those sensors employ a variety of technologies including mechanical, optical and magnetic. But each of those sensing technologies brings a set of challenges and drawbacks, including high system cost, limited resolution, mechanical design constraints, interferences from environmental contaminants, wear and tear of mechanical parts, and the need for magnets, sometimes using expensive rare earth materials. Well now, Texas Instruments is introducing a new category of products that use inductors as sensors to deliver better performance, better reliability, and greater flexibility than existing solutions, and at a lower system cost. Inductive sensing is a contactless, magnet-free sensing technology that can be used to measure the position, motion, or composition of a conductive target, as well as detect the compression, extension, or twist of a spring. It is immune to non-conductive interferences such as dust and dirt, and it supports remote sensor placement, making it well-suited for extreme and harsh environments. Using low-cost conductive targets like pressed foil or conductive ink offers limitless possibilities for system implementation, even in the presence of other metals or conductors. In a major advance for inductive sensing, TI is now offering you the world's first inductance to digital converter, the LDC-1000. The LDC-1000 is a solution for any application where the detection of a metal or conductive target can be used to infer attributes such as position, rotation, motion, twist and torque, shape, and even defects and material composition. The LDC-1000 works by measuring both the eddy current losses in the conductive target and the total inductance using a coil or a spring as the sensing element. The conductive target can be in any element of the existing system or it can be printed using low-cost press foil or conductive ink. In fact, the target can be any conductor, even the human body. When you design with the LDC-1000, your system costs are lower because the sensor can be a wound wire, a coil on a PCB, a coil printed with a conductive ink, or even a simple spring, and you can also avoid the cost of magnets. You gain flexibility in your design since the electronics can be located remotely from the sensor, unlike magnet-based designs. In addition, the simple nature of the sensor and the endless possibilities for the conductive target offer limitless opportunities for creativity and innovation in system design. Your design is more reliable because inductive sensing is unaffected by non-conductive particulates such as dust and dirt. Locating the sensor remotely from the LDC-1000 IC also improves system reliability by allowing the sensor to be placed in a harsh or extreme environment. And you can achieve a higher level of performance than competitive solutions with LDC offering sub-micron resolution in short-range applications. Let me show you how accurate this sensing solution is. What I have set up here is a very precise micrometer which has a metal plate attached to it that will act as our target. Just in front of the plate we've mounted LDC-1000 evaluation module which includes TI's MSP430 microcontroller. Using a USB cable, we've connected the EVM to a laptop that's running our custom user interface for device configuration and testing. On the EVM, we have included an example of a low-cost PCB coil, and for the demonstration, we will use that coil as the sensor. What you see on the screen are displays, which show, which show two key parameters from the sensor, eddy current losses and the total inductance. These values will change depending on the proximity of our sensor to a metallic target. Right now we are set at one millimeter from the sensor and the target and that's reflected by the values we see on the display here. Now let's move the target closer by rotating the thimble. At first we made a radical move and you can see how the change in distance is showing up on the displays. Now we'll make a very precise move as little as one or two microns. Okay, as we move our target by 2 microns, you can see the data on the tracking software reflects that exact measurement. The solution is precise enough to capture even the smallest changes in the target position. So you can see that even with the simplest of coils acting as a sensor, combined with the LDC-1000 converter, you can design an inductive sensing solution that offers you a significant set of benefits and design advantages. TI is bringing this major advance in inductive sensing to a wide array of applications in many different markets including automotive, white goods, consumer electronics, mobile devices, computing, industrial, and medical. To get more information on inductive sensing, the LDC-1000, and the design tools available to you, please go to ti.com LDC. That will wrap things up for this video. Thanks for watching.